Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, the installation and configuration of one more uh, tool in ethical hacking that is uh, DVWA tool. First, let us see what is about this DVWA, DVWA tool. So this DVWA stands for Dam Vulnerable web application tool it's a dam vulnerable web application tool and uh, th uh, the name itself indicates so this tool is to practice by the professionals of some of the most common web vulnerabilities most common web vulnerabilities see that means there will be a lot of web applications and uh, definitely there are a lot of uh, cyber security attacks that can be done on the websites right web applications so whatever the web vulnerabilities we can test or we can practice with a legal tool that called as a this damn vulnerable web application tool and here we can practice these vulnerabilities in four different security levels so we can practice them in a different levels what are those levels the first one uh, low level second one medium and the third one high and a fourth one is impossible so in all these security levels we can practice uh, some most common web vulnerabilities right so a few things are like sql injection attacks session hijackings okay so cross-site scripting all these things can be done uh, all these things can be practiced with a legal tool called dvwa tool so that's the most important tool used by the ethical hackers so now let us configure this dvwa tool here so if if you are saying it as a web application simply we can say web application if it is a web application there will be some sort of a, a database will be there and some sort of a web server will be there so here we'll see the database as a mysql and uh, the web server as a apache web server right so we'll install the dvw and we will conf configure that and in our further sessions we'll see the whatever the attacks we can practice on these things right now let us open the command prompt there's a terminal so go to the admin privileges sudo su now we have to install this one dvwa tool by using the github so we'll be directly having the link in from the github so directly you can go with the dvwa github so that we'll get the link see this is the link see this is the link and we have to clone this one so where we have to clone so we have to clone in the folder called variable www and html right so not in the home and kali so now we have to change the this one see cd where www html so go to that location you can observe ls yes so here you have to clone the link so in order to clone the link so git clone followed by the link so this is the link we have copied just now right so click enter automatically it will start cloning once it will get finished see yes you can you can observe ls so if we are having a dvwa a folder here right now the next one we have to change the permissions of the folder 
okay in order to change the permissions the command is chmod and uh, you know we have to give the complete read write modify permissions for all the user group and others so that's why we'll go with the chmod or 777 that means it will give the complete read write modify operations for all the user group and others so to which folder to dwa folder right so automatically the more modifications i mean the permissions has been given now let us move on to the dwa cvd dwa and again go with sorry ls so here just again go with the config one more folder it's a config now you can observe there are there is only one file dist file now rename this one with another file or copy this one with another file name called config.inc.php so for that just go with the copy command cp so config.inc.php dist this is a source and i'm just copying it to another file name config.inc.php okay i'm just copying the same file with a different file name yes now you can observe two files will be there now two files will be there now edit this php file and in this php file we'll be having the database name the username password etc etc will be there so we need to change if required the username and the passwords and also database so just edit this one so we i config.inc.php you can observe here yes see server it's a 127.0.0.1 and database name dwa username is dwa password is p at the rate ssw0rd a little bit complex right? yes let let us change it one so i am using the vi editor so i am moving on to the insert mode so i am just moving here i am changing the username as a user and a password as a simple password there is no at the rate symbols uh, uh, and all these things i am just giving a password and database name, name is dwa i am not changing it so you can also change it no problem and a port number i am not changing anything else so i am just changing the user user and the password so go to the command mode save and quit colon wq save and quit so once it was done now configure the database configure the database so in order to configure the database first we have to start the mysql service so for that the command is service mysql start it will start the mysql service once it was started then we have to enter into the mysql see it was started now we have to enter into the mysql in a user mode so mysql user mode with a root password right so you will get a maria db so this is a prompt here now we need to create a database and user because in in our previous step we have changed the you, database i mean i mean we have given the database name as dwa and we have given the name of the user as a user and we have given the password as a password so we need to create a database as well as we have to create the user for particular server that means 127.0.0.1 now create a database so in order to create a database create the command is create database what is the database name dwa so just now we have seen <coughs> yes so can't create database because database already existed so already database is existed if not just create the database now create the user create user the command to create the user right create user use user at the rate 127 0.0.1 identified by password sorry create user user at the rate 
dot zero dot zero dot one identified by password right so uh, I think user is also available so let us check show user is already available I think okay so if not just go to the command uh, like this okay right so once you create this uh, user just give this command so create I will write here right see use this command to create the user create user a user at the rate 127.0.0.1 identified by password right so once it was done then we have to give the privileges to this particular user all the privileges to this particular user right so else we'll change the configuration we will change the username okay so so that there will be no confusion so vi config php so i'll change the username as a username user as a username and password as password right now we need to create the user now right so i will start the mysql server service yes uh, once it was started so just uh, open the mysql with the root so here we will write create a user the user name is username right see you'll get like this query okay zero is affected that means the create this username has been created now we need to grant the privileges so grant all privileges on the database name is dbwa dot star that means all the files of a particular folder to and here you can write a uh, username at the rate 127.0.0.1 and to this user which was identified by password so just uh, be careful while writing the command grant all privileges on dbwa dot star to username at the rate the server name the server address identify the password so you can observe query okay zero rows affected so obviously the privileges are also has been given here right so just come out from the database now we need to configure the server so now the database is completely clear and now we need to configure the server so in order to configure the server just to start the apache server so service apache to start so once the server has been uh, started we have to enter into that that means we have to enter into that particular location right so it will be available in etc folder and php folder now ls so you can see the version go to this, this particular version 8.1 and again go to the ls so there is a name called apache 2 so go to the apache 2 apache 2 now ls you can find the php.ini file so just edit that one with a vi editor so here also we need to edit the, the this file so vi php.ini and here so you can observe just to scroll down up to 44 percent so here you can observe the fields in the f open wrappers column so there you can find the two things that is allow url f open and allow url include so make sure both are should be in an on state okay if any one of these things is in off state just change it to the on state and so now i am not changing anything because already both are in an on state right so just if if any one is in off state just change it to the on state so go to the command mode quit and save then so that's all go to the browser now 
so after opening the browser just go with the local host and uh, give the folder name dbwa so you will get this login page so this is a dbwa login page so just login with admin and password password is the password admin is the username login and once you got the login uh, for the first time so you will find here uh, restart okay so reset reset the database so simply you can reset the database once again you will get the login and here you can see all these type of web vulnerabilities can be practiced in this particular tool the brute force attack command injection csrf file inclusion upload insecure captcha injection attack cross site scriptings okay so all these things can be implemented in this one see the aim of dbwa2 is to practice some of the most common uh, web vulnerabilities with various level of difficulty so where we can find these various levels of difficulties so here dbwa security so click on this one so here you will be finding the different levels four levels as i have said that so low medium high and impossible and here you can change the levels so by default it will be the impossible you can go with the low and submit click on submit and similarly medium and submit and you can just go with the practicing all these web vulnerabilities right so this is the most popular tool uh, that can be used to test the web vulnerabilities by the ethical hackers right so hope you understood this one and uh, if you really enjoyed my session like my session and if you are having any doubts during this uh, installation process or uh, configuring so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much